directly to the people of Alabama and to answer questions if we can do that about what we see uh, taking place with respect to COVID. Uh, we wanted to particularly to let you know what our concerns were um, about the, the upcoming holiday given the numbers that we're having in the state. Uh, and, th and then again, we'll certainly be willing to answer any questions you have about this or any other, uh, any other matter. Um, Alabama is seeing its numbers go up, uh, just like every other uh, state in the country right now. We are not headed in the right direction. Uh, we are adding uh, a couple of thousand new cases a day, at least, uh, that we are aware of. Uh, since this uh, response began back in uh, February in the United States, we have had more than 12 million cases uh, of COVID-19 so far, and yet we are now adding about 1 million cases per week. So. Let me say that again. We've had more than 12,000 cases in about nine months, but we added a million just last week alone. Uh, and the numbers seem to be continuing to head that way. There is an uh, unchecked spread of COVID-19 throughout most parts of the country and throughout many parts of Alabama as well. We uh, have had more than uh, 230,000 Alabamians that have been infected so far. Uh, I always want to remind you that those are not numbers of positive tests. Those are unique individuals, more than 230,000. Uh, so somewhere around 4% uh, of our state has been infected so far. Uh, we have had hospitalization numbers that have been steadily increasing now for about six weeks. We have more than 1,300 inpatients a day on any uh, given day. These are the highest numbers that we have seen uh, since uh, back in July when we were really uh, at, at maximum uh, capacity. Uh, we have about one and a half percent of all of our uh, cases that have resulted uh, in death so far in Alabama. That's fairly consistent with what a lot of other states are seeing. Some are, some are unfortunately even worse than that. Um, j just to remind you, one and a half percent seems like a low number, uh, but that's about 15 times the death rate we see with influenza. And one and a half percent of uh, 4.9 million Alabamians that's about 75,000 deaths. That 75,000 is a number bigger than all, but about six cities in our entire state. Uh, that's what we might expect if, if everyone in our state were to become infected. So this is a time for people to be vigilant. This is a time to be careful and to think about uh, what you're gonna be doing. Uh, please uh, think about taking responsibility for your behavior so that you don't inadvertently uh, infect someone that you're around. Holiday times are, are difficult because we all want to be together with our family. I want to be together with my family, uh, but we have uh, made a determination that we can't have the normal kind of Thanksgiving we would do that involves people from different states and multiple generations all getting it together in the house for a day or two. Uh, it's just not practical and, and we're not going to do that. My wife and I are going to stay home on Thanksgiving, just the two of us, and if we're able to see family, we're going to have to figure out a way to do it safely uh, one person at a time and not even clear that we'll be able to uh, to do that. For those of you that are going to travel, please do everything you can possibly do to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. That we, we don't want this to be the last ever Thanksgiving for someone in your family like your parents or your grandparents, uh, particularly when, when prevention of disease is so preventable uh, if we can only do the things that we're supposed to do. What kind of Thanksgiving we have is going to go a long way to determining what December looks like. What's our holiday season going to look like and what kind of numbers are we going to be seeing then? What situation is our hospital uh, going to be in at that time? Uh, are we going to be here a month from now trying to have this same conversation? I, I really, really hope not. 